This is a second part of Angular's tutorial series, Introduction to TypeScript. If you want to learn Angular, it's important that you learn TypeScript, and it's not that hard to learn. So in this tutorial, we will look at uh, different types that TypeScript provides. We will look at some of the interesting features that are provided uh, as part of the classes by TypeScript, and some of the new data structure like enum. And don't forget uh, to add this series to your playlist so that you can follow it thoroughly. I'll provide a link here. And Welcome to Texi Tutorials. Let's understand what TypeScript really is. TypeScript was created by Microsoft. At the time, they had Angular 1, which was MVC based, and they wanted to create something that was component-based architecture. And at the time, there were no features available in JavaScript to support their dream. So they just created TypeScript that works for them, that would allow them to build a component-based architecture, which had strong typing, some of the class features, some new, new structures. So the way it works, you would write your code in TypeScript, and then it would transpile into whichever version of JavaScript that you like. For example, you can transpile to ES5 version of JavaScript, which is mostly accepted in most of the browsers. And so let's look at how it works. So Microsoft provides this uh, TypeScript playground. It's called TypeScript lang.org uh, slash play. And the way it works is on the left side here, I can write my TypeScript. It will convert into um, ES5 version of JavaScript. So for example, if I simply do let x equal to 2, as you can see, it converted into ES5 version of uh, JavaScript, which is var x equal to 2. And now I haven't used any TypeScript features here, but so if I hover over this, uh, I would see let x as a number, even though I haven't really assigned a specific type, it figured out that it's a number, so it assigned number to it. Now, if I say x equal to high, it's giving me some error. As you can see, it's red. So if I hover over here, it says type high is not assignable to type number. Because I already define x as a number, it won't let me assign in as a string. Over here, it has no issue because this is actually JavaScript, not TypeScript. And JavaScript really don't care if you if you assign something to a number and this changes to a string. And so the main reason the TypeScript is there is because to enforce types. So you cannot just simply uh, willy nilly change the type of a variable. Now let's say if I do this, uh, if I just simply do this, and second line I do x equal to two, then everything is going to be fine. Because when I say let x, that means when at the time of the assignment, I haven't given a type. So it just gonna give it a type called any. Any means it doesn't really care which type it is. And so from then, it just, the type is any. So that's why I can say x equal to two, x equal to high, and it doesn't really care. And it let me, there's no error. But better way to do it is, uh, behind this x, you can force a type. So I can say number. And now, if I hover over it, it says x is number. Here, x is also a number. So it won't let it reassign to a string. So now it's giving you the error. So better way to do it is just simply in one line, equal to two. I can say here, x equal to three and it should be fine because it's also a number. And over here, it transpiled to uh, JavaScript, ES5. So type-wise, you have four types, strings, numbers, boolean, and any. Any is the one we looked at, which means almost like no type, you know, whatever type you would like I prefer. So that's any. Now I can create my own mixed type by saying type num or num array equal to it's either number or 
its a number array. So if I say let num as number array equal to one, it's fine. Or I can say let array as the same type which is a number arrays it won't complain typescript also introduce a new data structure called enum e n u m uh, the way it works is if i say a list and i can say tomato onion and potato and this gives me if you look at how it works here it's a little bit confusing but basically what it does it would create a, sort of like a, a an object where tomato is zero index onion is one and potato is two it's a little different than array but if I do console log uh, list dot and it, it, it also you can see as you can help there's a help here so if I say let's start potato it should give me 0 1 and 2 because potato is 2 here and it gives me 2 here so right now the potato is 2 but let's say if I add another item called salt then the index of potato changes from 2 to 3 uh, which I don't want so I can actually give an index here like this I can say this has a zero index this has index one and this has index two and this has index three and now if I say potato mince is always gonna be three even if I add something uh, in between here now instead of simple types like string numbers and uh, booleans I can create a complex type using interface so the way it works is I can say interface and I'm going to call it let's say uh, profile and inside I can say I have a name which is string and I have an ID which is a number as you can see it doesn't convert anything because it doesn't know what interface is because it's something related to TypeScript only now let's say if I have a function called get ID um, equal to pass the type uh, profile so the way you would say profile one and we just type profile and inside you would just simply say profile one dot ID it's just gonna return it So this is quite useful. Now I can say uh, console log get ID and inside I can pass an object with a profile where you have name is let's say uh, string which is text and ID is one. So when I run this, it should give me one back. Over here, you can see it's a simple function. Uh, it just returns me profile.id. So if I run this, I would get one. Another important feature that TypeScript provides is for classes. In JavaScript, classes can have only uh, public properties, which means you can access it directly uh, like this. So if I have a class, um, car and I can have a property called let's say um, color which is a string I can create an object from it say const red car equal to new uh, car and I can say red car dot color it won't give me an error because um, this property is 
public, which means I can, which means the object that it creates can directly access to it. But in TypeScript, I can have it private uh, property. Now it would give me an error saying that the color is a private only, so you cannot access this directly. And the private properties can access only by the methods inside. So let's say if I have a constructor color string and I can say this dot color equal to color and I can say um, get color method which will return this dot color and so here I have to just simply say red and if I want to get the get color, I would have to run the get color method on red car. So I would say get color, and it should be fine. Now, if I console log it and run it, it would give me red here. But there is a shorter way of doing things. So inside the constructor, I really don't have to do this color dot color. What I can do is I can say um, private underscore color and I just have to remove all of this here I'll just put a question mark here it's a little bit weird syntax what this means is you know do this color dot color equal to underscore color that's what it means and for the get color what I can do it has a getter and setters so I can create a getter which is simply uh, get and then the method name called color and it returns again like this which means I can call this method like like a variable because as a getter I don't really have to call as a function it works as a variable and all of this would work perfectly fine if I run this I would also get red now this public private and protected are called access modifier so we looked at the public we looked at the private now let's let's look at protected and the protected the way it works is similar to Java uh, protected access modifier so if I have a car and I can have a private a property called color which is a string and I can have a public property called max uh, speed, which is a number. And then I can have well, and then I can have a protected property called, let's say, price, um, which is also a number. Now, if I create a subclass from this uh, car, so subclass going to be Toyota extends uh, car, and in the inside the subclass, if I have a constructor which takes max speed uh, color and price as an argument, and it would set. So first thing I have to do is obviously super and then inside I have to say if I try to access the properties of car directly uh, the, the parents class property this dot uh, max speed equal to max speed it's fine if I do this dot color equal to color it's not fine because it's a private and this dot obviously uh, price is going to be price and this is fine so color which is private you cannot directly access it inside the uh, subclass using this dot however protected you can so that's the main difference so public you can access this directly from the object you can say object dot uh, the public uh, property and you have access
protected and private, you cannot access directly. You have to have getters and setters. Now, when it comes to inheritance, uh, public and protected uh, can be accessed from the subclass using this dot, but private cannot. So that's the main difference. All right, that's all folks. In the next tutorial, we are going to build our first component in Angular. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and provide a constructive comment. Thank you.